Welcome to the Geek Static. This is a Star Wars Expanded Universe book review of Shatterpoint. Star Wars Shatterpoint was written by New York Times best-selling author Matthew Stover. Now, in my left, I have the mass market paperback, and in my right, of the fresh, hot off the press reprint. Thank you, Del Rey, for sending this out for me to review. Uh, this has a new banner at the top. It says, The Essential Legends Collection. Now, this trade paperback size is much larger than the paperback, uh, mass market paperback. Uh, it's a little bit thinner. It's taller. It's wider. It, it looks gorgeous. It's got a new spine, new art. It's gorgeous. Shatterpoint takes place during the Rise of the Empire era. It's the 27th book on the Expanded Universe timeline. The tale takes place roughly 22 years before the events of A New Hope. Now let's go ahead and dive into a brief summary. Mace Windu is pretty upset with himself. He reflects often about the opportunity he had to take out the Separatist leader Count Dooku at the Battle of Geonosis. But he failed to execute the old former Jedi, and now he's living with that failure daily. His living nightmares in the galaxy just sinks further and further into a full-scale war. Now, he and Yoda are meeting with Chancellor Palpatine to discuss some disturbing evidence that has surfaced involving Master Windu's former Padawan, Depa Bilaba. Depa Bilaba is on the planet Haroon Kal, which is Mace Windu's home world. Now, she is there to train natives how to fight as a guerrilla resistance force against the Separatists. Now, an audio file was found at a massacre on Haroon Kal with Depa's voice, and it appears that she has potentially turned to the dark side. Mace Windu, Yoda, and Chancellor Palpatine find this very disturbing, and Mace, he decides that he will take it upon himself to go to Haroon Kal to investigate matters further, to find out whether or not Depa has turned to the dark side. Harun Kal is an absolute war zone. When Windu arrives, he's met there with corruption, violence, and betrayal. He's actually captured by some militiamen, but let go in order to go solve the Jedi problem in the wilderness, as they say. Uh, Windu has a lot to learn about not just Harun Kal and the war taking place between the Republic and the Separatists, but the war going on between the Harun Kal people, the Balawai and the Koronai. Now, this war has been going on for a very long time, and it's known by the locals as the Summertime War. Will Mace Windu find Depa Balaba, his former Padawan and member of the Jedi Council? Has she turned to the dark side? Is she safe? Is it all a hoax? Well, I'm going to tell you, the book's been reprinted. It's also available in an unabridged audiobook. I suggest you give this book a read or a listen to find out the answers to those questions. So let's go ahead and talk about characters. What's cool about this book is it's primarily focused on Mace Windu. He is the main character of this book. And you get Depa Balaba, you got a lot of the natives on Haroon Kal. But Mace Windu, it's awesome to get a story that's got him as the primary focus. He is a member on the High Jedi Council. He's guided by the Force to see shatter points. He's able to see the weaknesses or uh, breaking points of people or events and how they can affect everything going on around them you know, through the Force. Now, for example, Dooku is the shatter point of the Civil War. If he could be broken, then the war could potentially just crumble away into nothing. Uh, Windu, he's lean, he's intense, he's intellectual, and he's very strong-willed. And that's why he became a council member before the age of 30. Now, the Jedi Master has been on the Council for more than 20 years before the Battle of Geonosis. That's impressive. He's tempted many times to go against what is right. He's even got a pretty bad temper, but he does have self-control, which is key to being a Jedi Master. Up next is the sinister Car Vaster. He's the leader of the Upland Liberation Front. Uh, the man's creepy. He's mysterious. He's got this aura about him that's just shrouded in darkness. In his youth, he actually witnessed the death of his family and was forced to live out in the jungle on his own and survive. And this, you know, kind of changed him for the worst. Now, he is a warrior. He's a fierce warrior. He's a manipulator, and he's known as a witch doctor. People fear him. He walks through the jungle, and it's as though the brush and the trees just kind of move aside, and he just flows through it. So now, let's get into my overall thoughts. I really enjoyed this book. Mostly. The first half was very strong. Stover was very clear in explaining all that was happening. I found the characters very interesting and true to how they seem on the screen or how I actually imagined them they would be in another story. So I felt that the second half of the story was weighed down pretty heavily with far too much action. And yes, I know, Star Wars. Wars. I get it. But it was just too much at times. Okay? That said... I was fully engaged, though, in the story, even if some of the details escaped me with all of the action going on. 
Mace Windu is pretty much dropped in the Vietnam War of the Star Wars universe. I mean, his birth planet, Haroon Kao, a very dangerous, brutal place with constant war and a lush jungle full of danger with giant bugs, militiamen. There's a, you know, the, the force is a little bit darker there and you got this rogue Jedi running around. It's not a fun place to be. I felt Mace Windu had a full arc that was resolved and satisfying in the end. He has to fight not just the enemies around him, but he had to deal with the darkness creeping from within. There are sections in this book labeled from the private journal of Mace Windu, and I think it's a really cool, interesting way of getting inside the character's head to know exactly what it is they're thinking. Now, I really enjoyed the entries. You know, it gives us an insight of, like I said, his thoughts, but also he's recording the facts about what he's witnessing and experiencing on his journey in Harun Kal. Uh, these journal entries are encrypted immediately and uploaded to the Jedi archives, so they cannot be altered or deleted by the person giving the journal entries. It's a pretty cool thing that Matthew Stover threw in there. There is one thing that I found a little bit too silly. It kind of took me out of the story for a minute. Um, it's implied that Mace Windu flips up his middle finger at a couple of bad dudes. Um, it was humorous, but it wasn't really that funny. And it, like I said, it took me out of the story for a second. But uh, the ending of the book, without spoiling anything, I'm, no spoilers here, it's one of my favorite types of endings in a book. I'll just say um, that I love a good tragedy, and that doesn't spoil anything because you don't know what I find tragic. Uh, the outcome of the characters and the results of what plays out on Harun Kal is absolutely fantastic in my book. Do I recommend that you pick up and read Star Wars Shatterpoint? The answer is yes. And like I said, they now have a fully unabridged audiobook narrated by Sullivan Jones. I highly recommend that. I switch between reading and listening. Really good audiobook. Music is not distracting. The sound effects not distracting. It's just nice and subtle. And Sullivan Jones does an excellent job narrating the story. So I'm glad that we have a novel with the main character as Mace Windu. Very pleased with it. So for the rating, I will give Shatterpoint a B+. If you would like to purchase this book, I've provided a link down in the description box below. And that'll do it for this review. Remember to check me out across all social media at TheGeeksAttic and TheGeeksAttic.com. Have a good one.